Those were the days. Yes, those were the days. This is the title for a benefit this Sunday afternoon at the Orpheum Theater. They're going to crank up the Orpheum's mighty Wurlitzer Theater pipe organ and crank up the movie projector so that you may relive a moment from the early 20th century. On the screen, you will see a great silent picture comedy, The General, starring Buster Keaton. In the air, you will hear the mighty musical message of the theater organ. Tickets are available from the auditorium box office, or you can call 346-1323. General admission is $5, $10 for reserve. The money is going to benefit the Western Heritage Museum. Okay, you say you're too young to remember silent films. You don't understand the role of the organ. Bob Markworth knows. He's a member of the River City Theater Organ Society. And friends, he has a theater organ in his home that takes up most of his basement. Good morning, Bob. Good morning, Dave. I want to know where you found this organ and how in the heck did you get it in your basement? Well, we found it in Homestead, Pennsylvania. Uh, it came out, uh, removed it in 1975. And uh, we took it through the basement. Uh, the council came through the sliding glass doors and um, installed the, the pipes over a period of about two years and uh, rebuilding and, and so forth. Now, what we can see behind you is just a small part of really what the organ amounts to. What else do you have there? Well, what, what you see here is the council. All the pipes are behind the shutters. Uh, what we have is uh, the, the theater organ uh, has all kinds of uh, sound effects to accompany the silent movie, such as uh, the birds, the sleigh bells, uh, fire gongs, sirens, uh, auto horn, um, various uh, noisemakers to uh, to uh, supplement the uh, the music from uh, uh, the silent movies. Um, also, one should remember that uh, all of these noisemakers are the real thing. In other words, there's actual uh, bird whistles and, and uh, uh, xylophones and pianos. Uh, what they did back in those days, instead of making the electronic equivalent, they just took a piano or marimba and, and uh, put the uh, mechanism behind it and struck it mechanically. So all the percussions that you hear on the theater pipe organ are the real thing, just struck pneumatically. Now, Bob, we're going to come back out there in just a few minutes, but could you give us a sound effect to get us into the weather here now? Okay, uh, <laughs> how about uh, a, a bird call? We <laughs> yes, uh, Don Novak is a little batty, if not a little birdie. I don't know. Thank you very much, Bob Marker. Let's go to Don Novak now in the weather station. Don? Did, did I hear somebody calling me? <laughs> yeah. Jack Molman is an artist, an artist on the theater organ. He's performed at Westminster Abbey in London, at the Pantheon in Rome, and to sell out crowds across the country. This Sunday afternoon, he'll perform at the Orpheum Theater to benefit the Western Heritage Museum. Again, the start time for the general is at 2 o'clock. Jack Molman, it's a pleasure to have such a man with such talents with us this morning. Good morning. Good morning, Dave. Where are you from? Well, originally from Chicago, but now I'm stationed at Offutt Air Force Base in the Air Force. Been here about two years and enjoying every minute here in Omaha. And you devote a lot of your time to traveling for the theater organ. Well, yeah, uh, for the theater organ as well as for the Air Force, it seems like I'm on the road all the time. How did you develop your love for the theater organ? Oh, I think the first time I ever heard one, which was uh, when I was about 10 years old in Chicago. And after that, I said, I'm going to learn how to play one of those things, and I've been at it ever since. Can people who are so used to talkies really learn to appreciate the theater organ behind a silent film? I, I think so, because uh, nowadays you look at all of the uh, fancy films that we have out, the lasers, the Star Wars, and all of that, and our, really our film heritage dates back to the old flicking movies and the silent ones, and, uh, and I, I consider it a, a real opportunity to be able to accompany one of those and, and use the theater organ for its intended purpose and, and bring back some of the old films that are really part of our film heritage. Now, to play something like that with so many keys, I know there are so many attachments, what kind of work do you put into it? Well, you have to review the film, first of all. Like the movie The General, I know the film quite well. I've done it a couple times. And all you do is adapt the music to what's going on in the film. If it's a chase scene, then you turn on all the drums and play fast. And if there's some sort of slow action, you, uh, you uh, play rather slowly. If, if there's something like a storm uh, that Don Novak was talking about, then you hit the drums and the surf and the wind. And, and you just try to uh, play along with it. But the movie is the prime thing. Uh, the music is supposedly a background. All right, I can't let you get away without playing one of your favorite selections. Would you turn around there and give us a little short little number there? Sure. This is the beginning of the one we're going to use on Sunday when the Good. organ will come up out of the orchestra pit. <laughs> okay. <laughs>
Jack Molman, thank you very much. Well, what car makers are saying about financing a new auto is music to the ears of... Could the old silent movies be making a comeback here in Omaha? Well, they were back today anyway in a special showing, as Delenn Sempek shows us. Those were the days when the Orpheum was known for its silent movies and the mighty Wurlitzer got a mighty workout. Those days came back on this 10th anniversary of the Orpheum's restoration. Hundreds of nostalgia lovers came to the theater to relive those days and to raise money for another Omaha landmark, the Western Heritage Museum. Well, I came to the opening of the Orpheum, and I remembered how I was simply spellbound. I still am, because this is such a beautiful theater. Even if you weren't around in the silent days, there was organist Jack Molman to bring back the original sound of the silent movie feature, The General. I think there's something exciting about watching a movie from the 1920s, and especially to hear the sound of the glorious organ accompanying it. Some came to listen to the music. Some wanted to see Buster Keaton in his silent role. Whatever the reason, they all contributed $6,000 to the Western Heritage Museum. For Newswatch 7 at 10, I'm Delin Simpek. Up next in sports.